Okay, and I was just sitting there and um, um, the cops came back, rolled through there and they, um, I guess they seen my truck and they ran the plate and they said it was me, but they didn't see me. So I was hiding my face because I didn't. Um, what what time could, was this? It was like 10 o'clock at night, maybe. And they came and they insisted that it was me and I, and I was hiding my face, but I should have just got out. But anyways, they ended up busting my window and ripping me out of the car. Um, I really appreciated the sentence. It was a great sentence. It's just, I was scared that something's going to happen to my dogs and my, you know, my vehicles. Yeah, you said that about four times. That's not a reason not to ever appear for your jail sentence. So if I make I this 1,000 days, you'll get out in like 2027. Your Honor, please don't do that. Please. My God. In Judge Middleton's courtroom, we've got a familiar face today. The defendant, despite numerous opportunities given by Judge Middleton, is back in custody, this time facing sentencing after a rather dramatic run-in with the police. Trying to evade them ended with a window-smashing episode and a forced extraction. But this defendant seems to misunderstand Judge Middleton's patience as an opportunity to keep pushing the limits. The judge isn't playing games anymore, considering a hefty sentence of 1,000 days. Is this the final straw for leniency? Or will the defendant's fate take another unexpected turn? It's time to see what decision Judge Middleton makes, so stick around for the outcome. Hello, Your Honor. Good morning, Miss Morgan. I've got Matea from the Public Defender Office here with you. Um, I've got to see you on these matters. Um, you failed to show up for your sentence. I know, sir. I'm really sorry about that. Well, I and I feel bad about it, but uh, apparently you've also got some new charges also, but I took care of three cases. I gave you a fairly light sentence. I gave you time to appear for your jail sentence and you poked me in the eye with a sharp stick and didn't do mm -hmm. any of it. Sir, can I just so, say, I wasn't... Oh, I'm sorry, I'll wait. Sorry. All right, when did you get arrested? Um, two days ago. So today say, is Monday. You got arrested on... Saturday. Saturday. Sir, um, how did, can you explain to me how I got the... It said I had three no-show or three no-shows? Yes. How did yeah, I have I'll, that? Well, there are three cases. File 23448 FY started out as a felony methamphetamine case. It was reduced to a use and attempted resisting obstructing. I gave you seven days jail. I gave you a day to report and you didn't report. File 201420T was an old no operator's license case where you failed to pay your fines and costs. I gave you three days jail and ran it concurrently with the other case and gave you time to appear. File 212162 SM is a breaking and entering a vehicle and a larceny charge. Same oh, thing, you failed to pay your fines and costs and I gave you some jail time to wipe it out and then you didn't show up. Sure. So I, was, I wiped out some old fines. The two felonies were reduced to misdemeanors I gave you only a seven-day sentence. I gave you time to report, and Honor, you didn't do any of it. Yes? Can I just say, I was going to, we just had to move out of our, our apartment, which I, I know you know that, and um, I just didn't have any, my husband worked, I didn't have any any place, anyone to take care of my animals. I was, as soon as I did that, I was going to come turn myself in for my seven days. That was a very great sentence, and I appreciated it. Um, we were, and we were in the car. My husband goes to work. I didn't have anyone to take care of our dogs and um, to move our stuff out of the apartment. Um, I was just told my husband um, earlier Saturday that I was getting ready to go turn myself in for the seven days. Um, but Well, how um, did you get arrested on Saturday? Well, I was sitting in the parking lot in the, my truck with my husband and my dogs. Parking and, lot um, of what? Um, where my mother-in-law lives. And, um, <laughs> Which is where? 
Um, it's Deer Creek okay. Apartments. Okay, and I was just sitting there, and um, um, the cops came back, rolled through there, and they, um, I guess they seen my truck, and they ran the plate, and they said it was me, but they didn't see me, so I was hiding my face because I didn't. Um, what what time could, was this? It was like ten o'clock at night, maybe. And they came, and they insisted that it was me, uh, and I was hiding my face, but I should have just got out. But anyways, they ended up busting my window and ripping me out of the car. And, well, uh, that's on you. All right, I'm yeah, going to get these cases uh, taken care of. I'd like to change it to like one million jail days, uh, sorry, but that yeah. would take really too long. It. So maybe we'll do 1,000 jail days. That'll be about three and a half years. Anyway, I feel bad. You got a sweet deal on the plea. I gave you a light <laughs> sentence. I gave you time to report. I wiped out your old fines and costs. Yeah, and... I'm having a hard time as it is, and I really, I mean, uh, I'm we're homeless. My dog, I I don't want my dogs to get put down. Um, well, I don't want to put your dogs down either. But you told me you had some sort of medical appointment or something, which is why I adjourned the sentence. I still have a problem with my leg. I got hit by a car. And um, I have having problems with my leg. It's, it's actually gushing out um, fluid right now. I got a bandaid on it, and um, it's infected. But that's not the point. The point I really did appreciate the seven days, and uh, it's just it was a bad time to turn myself in for them. And um, you know, well, I, you're gonna I, get my leg. some. I don't I know what the me. new charges are. It's Let me resisting, look at obstructing because I wouldn't because I didn't get out of the car. They broke my right. window to my truck. And I was, we weren't doing right. nothing. We were just sitting there. In the, in the, just sitting there. Why? Said I had, well, don't, don't you know, answer that. I don't want to get into that. I'm going to take care of these. In uh, the no ops case, 201420 low T, I gave you. Your Honor, if you could just. I, if you could just leave it the way you did, I'm, I mean, I'm really sorry about that. I, that was a great sentence. I just, I was scared that something was going to happen to my, my animals. We weren't going to get our stuff moved out. Our stuff is all in a storage. Um, I really appreciated the sentence. It was a great sentence. It's just, I was scared that something's going to happen to my dogs and my, you know, my vehicles. Yeah, you said that about four times. That's not a reason not to ever appear for your jail sentence. So if I make I this one thousand days you'll get out in like 2027 Your Honor, please don't do that please my god judge milton please i beg of you do not do that i have i, I can't have, order a thousand days i'm just trying to get me. your attention all right you on the no ops case i'm going to give you two days credit two days you know, I'm not out trying to get in trouble. I, I, I'm trying. My well, you to seem to find it. All right, that is concurrent with the other ones. Two, three, four, four, eight. F Y. And I do need to go to the hospital. I mean, the doctor, because my leg is leaking, and I, I have it's a specialist in Kalamazoo. But... Yeah, you were supposed to appear on September twenty fifth. And uh, you promptly didn't. Are you talking about for the eviction? No, for the uh, sentence on these cases. Oh. All right, so that's the first one. This is a pain in the neck. I went out of my way to take care of these old cases, and now we've got to... Do yeah, I these. appreciate that so much. I just didn't show up that uh, much. And uh, that's this one, 2342. And 23 or 212162. Your yeah, Honor, the, and the, for the cops impounded my car. All right, well, all know. right. About the incident, ma'am. Stop saying stuff Look about that. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry. frankly, it's your own fault. If you just got it, you want to turn yourself in. So they're there to pick you up. And you won't open the door, and they have a valid warrant for your arrest. They didn't so, know it was me. 
was just hiding my face. I was just trying to be, I, because I you know what you said to my husband. Uh, was don't say, it, don't say any more about it or I'll give you a thousand days. Let's just get this over with. Uh, you're right. just making it worse, trying to minimize what's already a not good situation. Yeah, all right, all right, I'm sorry. All right, so the other one was Judge Patterson. That was a larceny from a motor vehicle. Let me see what I did in that one. Can I explain that one? No, it's no. over with. 21262. Uh, two. You got sentenced. You didn't pay. So when I saw you on these other things, I tried to wipe out what you were supposed to pay with jail time concurrent with your other jail time. Uh, there were four total judgments. I appreciate it, Your Honor. Thank you. Let me see what I did in that one. You were more than fair. I appreciated it. And that one, that was Judge Patterson. Three days credit, three. Larceny from the motor vehicle, I gave you seven days credit zero. So you did two days. So I'm going to do seven days credit five. Five days to serve on that one concurrent with 20448FY or 23 and 20142OT. So that's two more. Seven days credit two, five days to do. I had given you seven days credit zero concurrent with the other case to appear on 925 and you didn't appear. I could find you in contempt and stack a bunch of more jail on this, but I'm just going to close it. You gave me a good deal. I know that. Well, I didn't make the deal. I did the sentence, which I thought was more than fair. That's why I feel bad fair. about this. All right. Scared. That's two of the three cases. Now, let's go to the next one. A lot can happen in a couple of days. My husband right now has the dogs at work with him in the car. All right. Uh, then the last one was the felony case, 23448. FY. That started out as a possession of methamphetamine as a second or subsequent offense, resisting and obstructing a police officer as a fourth habitual offense, which is punishable by up to life imprisonment. Prosecutor Marvin reduced that all the way down to usage yes this case has got a bunch of stuff in it let me find the judgment and that one's the one with the tinted windows that's why they pulled me over probably and that one I gave you three days credit, three days on one count. On the R and O case, I gave you ten days credit, three. Uh, so I'm going to give you ten days credit, five. Again, I'm sorry, Your Honor. All right, we got that. Thank you.
Mr. Marvin may not be willing to cut you another break. They're going to charge you with a resisting and obstructing as a fourth habitual offender. And you got problems with the new case. Anyway, as far as these three cases sure. that you pimped me on, uh, I've just added in the time that I originally ordered and given you credit for the time you had served. So the magistrate will see you on the new charges. I know you've sure. had a lot of bad luck. There have been evictions and uh, and you're always sort of in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, but this was all on you. I gave you a big break. I gave you a time to come. That was two months ago. Yes, uh, sir. Apparently dogs. So I guess if they're going to give you a thousand days, they could do it in the other case. But I'm just taking these three cases and bringing them to a close. Essentially, you. you got five more days to do and you'll finish all of these sentences. All right. All right. And the magistrate will see you. They'll get an attorney for you on those new felony charges. Did they charge Nate too or just you? No, just Nate. All right. We'll see what happens with that. You're free to go. I'm free to go where? Back, <laughs> Back to <you>. yourself. <laughs> the magistrate will see you this afternoon. All comments, viewpoints, interpretations, and insights expressed in this video are for education and entertainment purposes. All individuals featured in the video are to be presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Please do not attempt to contact, locate, or engage with any individuals featured in the video.